Yeah, obviously um, a lot of new faces in there, a lot of guys getting a first-time experience with us. Um, obviously, um, uh, you know, we got some transfers in there with Keon and Damani. Then you got some younger guys like uh, like Red Morgan and, and Zabin Brown and, and Bakwe and Mincy. So you're seeing all these young guys, and it's really trying to uh, continue to build off the good moments that we're having and then just learn from the teachable moments and, and try to find ways to continue to get better. Right. What have you seen from Deshaun Jones? Got a little bit of a heavy workload in week two versus week one. Yeah, you know, he, he's a guy that's going in and showing that he can do his job and do it consistently and execute the defense in the nature that we need him to. Um, and if you can take small jobs and, and, and handle your business the right way, small jobs can turn into big jobs. So uh, we're going to continue to work guys in, continue to develop our depth and, uh, and build guys up throughout the week and, uh, and, and get a lot of bodies in there and let guys earn their reps through practice and earn their playing time through what they do in the game. Um, but, uh, uh, but Jones, Deshaun, has actually he's, uh, been a guy that's gone in there and done a good job for us. Well, I think you're seeing all over college football right now uh, some of these, I guess you want to call them upsets or maybe surprising wins from teams all over the nation. I think uh, football will teach you anything. If it's taught me anything over the last 18 years is anybody can beat anybody, uh, you better get yourself ready to go. And uh, probably the number one thing that you always remind yourself of is that winning is and always will be hard. So uh, because you know winning is hard, you got to continue to respect the process and everything that goes into winning. And then when the football hits the ball, it's about performance in the moment. It's about executing the call. It's about doing your job. It's about making plays and stacking one, one play on top of another play. Um, so uh, winning's difficult. Winning's hard. And uh, we don't take anything, any of those wins for granted. Uh, we, uh, we're definitely fortunate and, and, and uh, glad that we were able to pull, pull the game out. And then you can learn things through the process of, you know, what happened throughout the game. There's stats and then there's the actual story of what actually happened throughout the game. What can we learn from this game that we can use moving forward to help us wiser, help us be better moving forward? Uh, obviously, now we got a road game coming up and all the, all the challenges of us going on the road. To continue to take steps and to continue to form in, into that identity of who we uh, believe we can ultimately be. Uh, you know, we're trying to close that gap between where we are and where we actually want to go. Um, uh, nothing happens all of a sudden. It's through work over time, uh, through staying committed through the process, by taking the right necessary steps, by looking at the truth and uh, good and bad or indifferent and uh, recognizing what those things are so we can build on the good and learn from the mistakes. And we're looking forward to uh, all the things that come out of travel and uh, the mental focus that you have, the discipline to do your job, the toughness you have to show to go on the road, to execute, uh, you know, that uh, back against the wall mentality when it's just you and your fans against a, you know, a, a ranked, a, a big opponent on the road and all those things that come along with that. So uh, we know it's certainly going to be a challenge um, uh, in, in all aspects of the game. Everyone's got to, you know, get our mind focused uh, and, and travel well and get ready to go play a hard-fought game on the road. Yeah, I think the guys are energized. Uh, the, the energy in our team is really good. Uh, I, I, I think, you know, you look at the guys in the secondary, you have experienced guys. Damani's an older guy. Uh, Malachi Moore, Keon Sab, those are older guys. Um, uh, maybe they've played at other places, but they still have experience of what it takes to go on the road, what it takes to prepare through the week, the consistency that it demands to really be a good football player. And, and it's hard to be good. It's hard to be great, you know. So what do I have to do on a weekend and week out basis? Um, can I just commit myself to doing things a certain way, the same way over long periods of time, regardless and detached from an actual result. So uh, we have great leadership in the, with the uh, older guys that we have. The young guys are learning, um, but you're seeing an energized team. I feel like the uh, energy has been good and guys have been doing, been doing a really good job. Yeah, I think anytime you 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 you, uh, you pack up the bags and you go on the road and you know you look at it, you look to your left and look to your right, and you know it's it's all it's your guys and it's 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 just you. Uh, there's no one else. Uh, you know we're not gonna have all our fans here um, uh, back home here in Tuscaloosa. They're gonna be cheering for us. We'll be able to bring a group, but we know the mentality that you have to have when you travel. Um, this is you know uh, big time football. This is a high level college football, and we know that you have to have a certain demeanor and a certain way that you got to approach these games. So. Nobody's going to give us anything. No one owes us anything. We know we got to continue to grind our way to the top, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, all the things that come in terms of having to travel, go on the road, and what it's going to take to go battle on the road. Uh, looking at Wisconsin, stylistically, how do they maybe differ or 
similar to your first two opponents and how they going to say Yeah, you know, I, and I think it's a good point. I mean, they're, they're, um, uh, they, they have a, a lot of layers to what they do. A heavy volume in the run game. Uh, they have a vertical throw game. Uh, they'll, they'll stretch you horizontally. Uh, I think they do a phenomenal job of spreading the ball around. Uh, they got good spacing concepts, vertical concepts. Uh, they run zone and gap scheme. They can tempo when you want them to tempo. Uh, they have experienced players. You look at their wide receiver group, older group of guys, seasoned guys that have played a lot of football, returning starters. Um, uh, backs can run downhill. Experienced coaching staff and you're looking at them going into year two of their coaching staff so you have a lot of continuity a lot of same as so I think um, uh, obviously all those things present their own challenges uh, different style of offense probably last week and what we saw South Florida um, uh, but they can do it all you know they present empty five five open empty four open empty they two by two three by one condensed sets so um, uh, you know they're going to test rules they're going to uh, test uh, our ability to execute on a down in and down out basis so we know uh, we're going to have to do our job and do it consistently well. You've worked with uh, several young guys uh, breaking into their, their college uh, kind of first season. How have you seen uh, Xavier Brown progress over these first two games? Yeah, really, uh, really excited and proud of what you know the work that he's he's done. He he's nowhere near the player we think we, he's going to ultimately be. Uh, so what we're always assessing, hey, okay, where are you at? Where do we all ultimately want you to go, and how are we going to close that gap to help you get there? Uh, that takes uh, number one, I think, a, a, a honest and real relationship, so we can so we can have truthful conversations, and we know that the conversations that we have are for the sole purpose of making you the best that you can be. Um, and then it takes action. Then we got to go put the work in. So. Uh, uh, we're being really critical on ourselves. We're being really critical on the details of our work. Uh, you're asking, you know, he, I think Xavier played 60 snaps last week as a true freshman uh, uh, corner and held his own out there and did a, did a, pretty, a pretty good job. So um, we know um, uh, that he's conscientious. He works hard. He's earning the right to go out there and play, play football for us and get the reps that he has. And then ultimately, uh, when you're out there, it's about playing to the standard of the play, and it's ultimately about executing at a high level. So... We want to continue to build our depth all the way through Jalen Mbakwe, uh, Deshaun Jones, Zay, uh, Zay Mincy, um, uh, continue to roll guys in because we, we hope and, and we know we're looking forward to having a long season. And uh, so we're going to have to have guys ready to roll in and roll out on a down-in and down-out basis. So Zabian's one of the guys. So he's doing a good job for us. we got to continue to work, continue to uh, uh, try to find ways to get better. You know, I... Uh, what I would say is I, there's not a probably – when you, when you go through the week, if you like took a, think about a game, there's maybe 70 snaps. If you got two corners out there, you're talking about 140 snaps. So we'll build a little bit of a plan as the week develops. Hey, we think, hey, Damani, you're going to be probably be around 40 to 50. Uh, maybe this guy's going to be around 20. But I let a little, a little bit of the practice, um, uh, of what occurs in practice, kind of determines who kind of fills those roles in, and it keeps an urgency that I know that when I'm out there in practice, we are watching everything. Uh, we're, we're trying to really be critical. And, and, and assess who is re really getting it done. Uh, I think we have, uh, we're building depth right now. Uh, I think we have uh, talent in the room. Um, but uh, when we kind of build a, a game plan out to go play a certain opponent, we're, we're assessing what happens in practice to kind of uh, transition that into reps into the game. Yeah, I think Hitchler is experienced. He's a great coach. Uh, obviously, he was at Wisconsin, co-defensive coordinator, has a ton of football knowledge. I think if you look at our room, we got a little bit of everything. You know, Freddie, Freddie was here on, on staff. He has that experience of being a guy that's been here uh, before. Uh, you look at Coach, coach Womack, and he's a former head coach, former defensive coordinator at Power 5 level, tying everything and bringing everything in together. Uh, Christian Robinson, very knowledgeable coach, extremely knowledgeable, very smart football coach and really does a great job coaching his guys and then like you mentioned with Colin um, uh, coming over being a co-DC at Wisconsin coming over here and kind of putting all our heads together and try to find out how can we come together and put the best product together on the football field we got QC's and GA's that do a phenomenal job I think it uh, it takes trust it takes communication it takes honest conversations and then you know coach Womack is, is leading the whole thing in terms of directing the entire process and what we ultimately are going to uh, look to become over over time Thanks a lot, guys.